relationship that's very uh, toxic. Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back. Here we go. Here we go again. So, y'all, today I have a brand new review. I know it's been one hot minute. You girls back. Honestly, I haven't been doing reviews and I haven't been doing things. One, because life just worked out that way and two because i freaking have like so my job love it you know love it i have a really good schedule i work from nine to five which to me it, that's perfect you know the only downside about it is that right now in the winter it literally is dark by the time i get here Right now I was trying really hard to film where I normally do, but that wasn't working out. Literally, like, it's golden hour or whatever, so the sun is falling and just hitting me right across the face, and I thought that would be not a fun time. Okay, today I'm reviewing the Nike, Reac Nike Epic React 2s. So, the first version of these, I honestly, I just, I couldn't even, you know, like, I... I just I couldn't even deal so I didn't even review them I don't think that it was even on my radar to review them I just really didn't like them for a lot of reasons but that's that's beside the point you know I'm the kind of person where I feel like you fail me once that's fine I'm okay with that I was a hype princess when the epic react came out I did everything in my power to get a hold of that shoe because that was just the new, the latest, the greatest, and it's just what I thought I needed in my life at the moment. But like everything else that I think I need in life, it just it didn't work out. I'm just kidding, it's not that. Anyways, so it just didn't work out, right? I didn't love them. They, they just weren't meant to be. So I just feel like I have this relationship with Nike where it's like, you know, like I just want to be the hype princess that I was meant to be and I should and always should be, but it's just, it's this relationship that's very uh, toxic. It's what you would call a toxic relationship. So they continue to let me down. They continue to upset me. I know deep down inside my heart that it just, just not the right fit for me. It just, <laughs> as I salivate, it's just not the right fit for me. Their brand is great, just not for my specific foot type, but their shoes are just so cute, you know? Like, it's just so cute. And I'm just like, I need you. I need you just to look at you, no matter how toxic this relationship may be. Sounds familiar? Probably. So, I, like any toxic relationship that we have ever been in, went out and bought the Nike Epic React 2. So, it's really weird. As I was looking through the product knowledge of it all, it seems like they didn't really change much of the technology in the shoe. So, they still have the TPU midsole with exposed foam and then a little bit of, um, extra rubber right on the top and then right near the heel there's the same heel cup the shoe is going to be a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop and it weighs 6.9 ounces for women and so it's actually 8.4 ounces for men so it's a very lightweight shoe that's definitely something that I thought when it first came out I thought okay so I love higher heel to toe drop shoes it's just it's what my body's used to. I like a high heel to toe drop. So this is a 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. The same drop as my launch, the same drop as my 880s. So I thought that this shoe would be just a great shoe because it's lighter than my 880 but still the same drop and it's marketed to be Nike's really good just go to runner but it's a little bit pricey that's the only thing is that my 880 that i really love is 120 this one 150 so already there whatever so what's the point of this right this is a review that's all we're doing oh my gosh it's getting really dark okay it's fine it's fine we'll continue so anyways as um also just <laughs> Like, I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm trying really hard to finish this review before the lighting just completely collapses on me. But let's ignore it and keep going. So, 
yeah, it has that secure back to it and it's their fly net material that they use, their fly wire. So it's supposed to be a really nice stretchy feel up in the upper. So that's the, that's the product knowledge of it. But really, here we are to talk about the real, real, the truth, truth, all the tea, all the hot gossip. So I actually really don't like this shoe. Like, let's just get that straight out there. Let me just vomit it out. Feel free to click out of this video. I'm sure a lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, Nike's the greatest. But you've clearly, you just don't know any better and it's fine. I'm just kidding. I'm totally joking. Everyone's foot is totally different. But honestly, for me, my opinion, I went up to a size 7 in these shoes, which is a size and a half bigger than what I measure on a Brainic device, which normally you go up a size from what you measure. Six and a half, that's what I usually get. This shoe actually fit me a little bit big, so it's true to size in the length, but when it comes to the width, it was definitely really tight on my foot so I had to go up to the size 7 so that I felt roomy and airy and I could run in it and here's the thing so this is my this is my channel this is my opinion this is what I believe to be the truth for who I am as a runner and who I am as a consumer so I like to run. I love running. It's so therapeutic for me. It's probably my, I run every single day, at least three miles. It's not a lot, but I do run every single day. Uh, on the days that I get a chance to go a longer distance, I'll definitely hit that eight to like 15 mile distance, depending on how I'm feeling. And I usually do that about twice a week. But for me, I run every day, at least three miles, but I also go to the gym. I also Wear my shoe, and I know that in theory, a running shoe you shouldn't wear. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, I know, I know what I should be doing, but let's be truthful here. Like, I wear my shoe to the gym. I wear my shoe out and about when I'm doing stuff. I wear my shoe on my runs. I really wear my shoe, honestly, everywhere because even though I love to run, I also do participate in other athletic activities, and I feel like this shoe is very geared towards running and that's great and all but I think that it's marketed as a very tra like just the kind of shoe that you could just pop on and off and wear for everything I feel like the foam is too soft so when I was running I supinate a little bit and I feel like the shoe is meant for somebody who's just completely neutral just strikes perfectly in the center because I supinate a little bit when I run and so I did feel like because the foam was so soft my foot would literally like one wrong step and it would just like mess me up you know and it would just be really bad so the whole time I ran it was really unnatural because I was just focusing on that the whole entire time and this is meant to be a running shoe so for me I thought anyone who supinates or over pronates a little bit like this is nowhere near enough support or structure not support but more so structure and you would have to be a very great runner just very efficient and very perfect on your strides hitting neutral every single time because if not one wrong turn and your foot can go this way or this way and I gave it a, a good amount of shots I ran in this like for a whole two weeks and after that I was just like I can't do this anymore you know like I just I'm not enjoying my runs and apart from that um like I said I like to go to the gym and I'll wear my same shoes that I run into the gym because I do a lot of plyometric workouts I do a lot of jumping I do a lot of stuff that actually requires shock absorption apart from the basics the lunge the squat the whatever but I do do a lot of uh, hit workouts hit cell workouts a lot of plyometric workouts so for me, I need a good running shoe. I think a running shoe is the best shoe for those kind of workouts because they have more cushion to them. They have more shock absorption. So when you're doing those kinds of workouts on uh, hardwood floor, concrete floor, whatever it is you're doing, you do need that bit of shock absorption. And I usually incorporate some sprints in between my sets or my reps. Um, and I felt like with this guy, when I was doing a squat on it, I don't know if you can see that this kind of bevels up like this. It kind of whoop, goes up like that. So it just, I wasn't able to like put, firmly put my foot down because I kept swooping out of it. Hey party people. So look, this is my example. As I'm doing a squat, my heels are going back too far, pushing me off balance. 
And so thus, in order to make my balance go back, I have to go forward and my knees are too far up. Here's the thing. If you look at this shoe, the way it's designed, it swivels up. This part right here, because there's no firm bottom, like that just lets you have a firm grasp on the ground. When you push down on here with even the smallest bit of weight, even just your body weight, it'll flip you more this way, like back, so you're not stable. So what your body naturally wants to do is it will start to pivot this way, which then leads to improper form and too much pressure on your knees. I can't wear this shoe to the gym. I, I mean, unless I'm doing leg, or arm day and just like trying to be like a cute workout girl, but yeah, it's not good. So in comparison to my beloved 880, which when you see this, I don't know if you can really see that black detailing right at the end. Yes, it looks like it swerves a little bit, but when I put this shoe on the ground, that heel, it sits tight. So I'm able to press back on it a little bit without feeling like I'm just pushing all the way forward, thus letting my leg be completely parallel and my knees never going past my toes, which is what happens with this guy as I'm starting to go like this because I'm not balanced when I'm like this. So um, because of that, I don't really like the shoe. I don't like it at all, actually. And I just feel like for the person that I am and for the person that I that may be watching me, we're, you know, working that nine to five regular job or doing whatever, living our lives and being active is a part of our life to where you're not going to go out and buy a shoe for the gym. You're not going to go out and buy a shoe for the gym, a shoe for running, a shoe for the treadmill, a shoe for uh, the whatever, you know, like you, a one done and go kind of shoe for me is just like, I'm willing to pay, honestly, I'm willing to pay $150 for this shoe that will do it all for me and I can wear and get good use out of it than to have this guy, which I mean, it's really cute, but like it's $150 and I really can't even wear it for anything except for being a cute workout girl. So that really, uh, I didn't like about it. And that's, that's really what it is. It's like... It sucks because <laughs> I just want to like a pair of cute hype shoes so bad. It's just not working out for me. Like I'm literally going to be a new balance gal for life. But yeah, you guys, that's really honestly my whole entire review. I, for people who disagree, that's totally fine. I just, I really don't love it. Like I don't like it. I, I, there's, it. It just doesn't get the job done for me. I, like I said, I go to the gym, like I go to the gym and I run and I usually do them both at that same exact time. So I need a shoe that will do it all for me. And so that's part of the reason why I feel like I'm such a harsh critic when it comes to running shoes, because I need it to kind of be able to take on multiple tasks. And it's funny because when I'm getting ready to go run outside especially right now in the cold weather i feel like all my cold gear all my workout stuff is actually nike because they're so cute and they're so trendy and it's just like can i just can i just completely be the cute i don't know if you guys relate to me it's like cute workout gal cute workout gal and then like but not my shoes because i don't trust you nike so that's kind of who i am as a girl as a person as a runner that's, that's the tea, sis. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe to my channel. And I promise you guys, now that the sun's going to be up for longer, I'm definitely going to be making more videos again. And I want to make more videos with a lot of people involved. I actually had a lot of fun with Alex because <laughs> it's something that I haven't done before it was really uncomfortable at first but that was kind of the humor of it all so if there is anything that you guys want me to talk about or whatnot then leave it down below i always read the comments i always comment back but yeah i will see you guys later bye